they understand what is this atma again what is this soul and what is this body most people don't have the understanding not even a little bit of knowledge that the body and soul is different in this situation in this kali yuga we have to make sure people understand they are at least come up to this understanding that the body and soul is different there is a soul situated in our body and also our duty is many people have the scriptures there are scriptures there is bible there is quran many scriptures are there but <clears throat> but these scriptures don't uh, clearly explain the process of reincarnation you know uh, the soul as the other day i met two christian preachers and then this uh, i asked them where does the soul go when our body you know when it leaves the body they say that it stays in the spirit world you know some people say they stay in the spirit world until god comes and he will resurrect it other people think that when your body is put in the grave and then it stays right there and until the god comes and he will resurrect it so all these ideas are there and which are not based on the vedic truth so we have to give them this book when they read they will understand you know sincere person who is looking for absolute knowledge will appreciate this books but others who are not serious you know they will speak anything what can we do so we have to give them the knowledge real thing and then one day you know they will come to this understanding just like now in the western countries nobody knew this is spiritual knowledge because of one person called father ken and because of his influence look at now all the old white everybody you know those who are sincere getting this absolute knowledge because this is the absolute truth there is no higher truth than this there is nothing compared to this knowledge this is the last knowledge knowledge so we have to somehow distribute this to our past books and as much as we can and if we do that just like prabhu ji was yesterday telling you know, if 100 buses goes around america we can change this you know entire thing will change why not you know so we should you know focus on this and proper wanted you know many places proper mentioned why not when some day you know devotees can take over government and they will run this country they will run the entire world why not there should be a devotee judge in the court you know and there should be a president the devotee why not this can happen if we all work together if there is 100 buses going around america why why it is not possible it is possible and people are looking for knowledge yeah, they are going in the college looking for knowledge they don't know they just go around here and there if you go to the universities students are just going around you know they they are looking this knowledge they give but they, it doesn't satisfy them they don't know what is the truth what will satisfy them they are looking for this so if we can put the books in their hand and show them that here is the absolute truth you know it will satisfy you and then they will take it but we have to you know we we have to be exemplary and they, when they see we are sincere they also take it just like prabhupada was very sincere so he could influence thousands of people so if you are sincere we can influence other people if you are not sincere we cannot influence other people so that is the fact uh, so today's verse uh focuses on personal feature of the lord the lord is a person and we should meditate on that form you know we should take this form that is described today here the lord with his flute in his hand uh, with yellow garment and putting a cloud in his head <clears throat> he is standing there this is a beautiful form of the lord that form we should keep in our mind always and think of him and while doing our job we should think and remember and you know spread his glory and if we do that we are happy in this world and on the next world the lord will take us where he is so <clears throat> this is the conclusion of all the scriptures uh, the cowher girls begin to speak about krishna but when they remembered his activities of king the power of cupid disturbed their minds and thus they did not speak so you know this we always struggle in life because of the power of cupid so we have to be very careful devotee has to watch out his mind all the time you know our mind is such a greatest enemy we have it wants to go to so many places and it sees something attractive then because of that our mind kind of tend to go here and there and eventually uh, our mind flows in a very opposite direction so we have to watch out our mind always thinking of krishna if our mind is engaged in thinking of krishna then it cannot go to very far you know it always stays there on krishna so that's why scripture says that we should keep the form of the lord within our heart always and think and remember him and if we do that then we are perfectly situated and at the same time if we are spreading the glories of him then we are perfect there is nothing to fear so this we have to keep in mind just like you know this 
uh, girls of Vrindavan, they are perfect, they were thinking of Krishna, but if we are thinking of something else, then that will be difficult. You know, we have to, the Lord himself was in Vrindavan, so they were thinking. Now, uh, you know, the Lord is in the temple and Lord is situated in our own heart, but that form is described right here in today's verse. Now that form we have to always keep in our mind, and if we do that, we are saved, you know, we are always saved. But if we are not keeping that, then we are losers, you know, because the Maya is strong, it can attack anytime. Nikatastha Maya Tara Japatiyadari, in Bengali there is a proverb, you know, that the person who wants to enjoy this life, Bhagavan Sakari. Uh, uh, Krishna, how does it start? Uh, Bhagavan Sakari, the living entity, he wants to enjoy this, you know. This, this world, you know, let's, let me enjoy good food, let me enjoy good car, let me enjoy good money, all these things. When he does, then, then there is a maya, there is an illusion of Krishna that comes and it just attacks right there. So, as long as we have this tendency to possess things, then that will lead us, our thought will go there, then, then that the maya will attack. But as long as we don't have this tendency, our tendency is to just serve the Supreme Lord and respect His glories, then if we keep that form of the Lord, then, then we are always safe. You know, they, where there is Krishna, there is no maya. But where there is the absence of Krishna, right there, the maya is waiting right there and it just attacks us. So we have to be careful always and take shelter of the Lord. And if we do that, then we come to the actual nature of Krishna. Just like I was explaining that verse at the beginning, that many, many people have attained my nature. That is the God's nature, going back home, back, going back home, back to Godhead, loving Krishna, you know, that is why. Many people have attained transcendental love for me. So it's not a material loss. In this world there is no love. In this world everything is a lost. We call it love. Oh, I love you or you love me. This is not love. It is all lost. But the love, actual love is only for God. There is no love for other living entities. Love is for God. So if we can love God, if we can love Krishna, if we can always be happy thinking of Krishna, then there is something that we can say we have achieved something. So, by keeping this in mind, we have to read these scriptures and we have to spread these scriptures and also become an example of Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Two quick comments, sir. Uh. Yeah. Two quick comments, sir. Uh. You have mentioned about a king, that uh, king wanted association of sage and sage refused the association. That is the true story about Jagannath Puri. Lord Chaitanya was invited by the king of Puri and he will not go, he will not see. Because Lord Chaitanya said that I don't want to associate myself with wealthy people or famous people like king. So king sent his son to listen to the pravachan of Lord Chaitanya. And son was very much influenced. So then at the time of Jagannath Yatra, King himself came and started sweeping the street. So then Lord Chaitanya gave mercy to the king. He said, now I see some seeds of devotion in you because of your son. Mm -hmm. Son told his father, you know, king, that this is how Chaitanya is preaching, Lord Chaitanya is preaching. Second quick comment is, uh, today is uh, birthday, appearance day, so-called appearance day of Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus lived in India from the age of 13 to the age of 29. Mm -hmm. 16 years he practiced yoga. He went to India through Afghanistan, through Pakistan, through Kashmir, through Tibet. Mm -hmm. And in Tibet they have found a lot of uh, preachings and uh, a life uh, history of, uh, life history of uh, yes. Jesus. This is published in an article in Sampradaya Sun. And then Jesus went to Jagannath Puri and learnt Vedas there. Yeah. And uh, uh, Prabhupada, Sri Prabhupada was asked a couple of times about Jesus. So Prabhupada's comments are that he is a pure Vaishnava and he is son of God, he is son of Krishna and uh, he had no fault. That is why people crucified him, he was killed. And when Srila Prabhupada was looking for land in Australia to build a temple, the council, city council asked him, do you believe in Jesus? And Srila Prabhupada point blank said, yes, we believe in Jesus. And then later on to disciples, he said, we believe in Jesus, Jesus is Vaishnava, but we glorify Krishna, we don't glorify Jesus. 
So this was well, you're going point. to glorify Jesus. There's no harm because you can glorify pure devotee. You know, there's no harm in glorifying Jesus. But now, as for when when it comes to the question, who is God? Krishna is the God. You know, Jesus. There is a description. You know, many people are in the Bible and also there is that when the Jesus was crucified. You know, uh, that time there was a voice from the heaven. You know, the voice explained that, that you know this is my true son. And those things are there because pure devotee is dear to Krishna. You know, we are all, Mumai Bamsa, Lord Krishna says, all living entities are my part and parcel. So we are all sons and daughters of Krishna. But one who dedicates his life even up to the point that he gives up his own life for the sake of the Supreme Lord, he is dear to Krishna. So he is, you know, the influence he made in people in, in the Western culture is nothing ordinary. Prabhupada himself many times glorified Jesus, that Jesus and Muhammad, they did a great work for the Supreme Lord, you know, they did a great work. So we can't criticize them, that oh, Jesus is nothing or Muhammad is nothing. We cannot say that, you know, they have done a great job. But, you know, uh, that doesn't mean, you know, uh, Krishna's existence is not there, the Lord is always there. Other thing is, from preaching point of view, you will get lot of uh, Muslims, you will get lot of Christians, they will say Muhammad is the only way, Jesus is the only way. So we have to be very tactful, tactful in sense. I will give you two examples. Madan Mohan Malvi in India, he was called Great Man Mahamana and he was trying to establish Banaras Hindu University and for that he had to get money, he had to get donation from everybody. So he went to the king Hyderabad Nizam, king of Hyderabad, which was a Muslim ruler. That Muslim ruler was a very strong Muslim ruler and he won't give money to anybody. But Mahatma, uh, what you call, Mahamana Malvi went to him. He took a plate, silver plate like that, and he put astura, a knife on that, and then he covered it with a handkerchief. And he said to Nizam, this is my present to you. So Nizam said, what is that? He said, this is for you. Please accept it, open it. So he removed the handkerchief, he found one knife. He said, what do I do with the knife? So Muhammad Malvi said, I'm Hindu. I have this shikha. I know you like to make everybody a Muslim. So please chop it off. Make me a Muslim. But give me donation for my university. So Nizam was... <laughs> So Nizam was ashamed. So he gave him those days one lakh rupees. At that time? For the university. He said, no, no, no. You are a Hindu. You remain Hindu. Uh, I can never make you a Muslim. But please accept one lakh rupees. So that is the way to get donation. <laughs> and uh, likewise, Sri Prabhupada, devotees asked him that, how come Prabhupada, you said that you believe in Jesus, you believe in Bible, you believe in... Uh, Christianity and all. So Prabhupada said to all the devotees in Australia that if I had said anything other than that, what I said, this council won't give us free land. Now we got free land. Now you build a temple. Now you preach them. Hari Bol, Shil Prabhupada ki jai. So we have, to, we have to be very, very tactful. Yeah, our devotees always say, be tactful when preaching with Christians. Don't waste so much time with them arguing and all these things. If they are accept, they are ready to accept Gita, give them Gita. Otherwise, don't waste time just arguing with them because they will simply argue. You know, this, that, all this. So, if, you, if they are ready to accept books, you just tell a little things and if they are ready, give them. Otherwise, just don't waste your time with them because they are, they are in a different thinking. So. The, one of the 